Hello, I'm Ilari Mikkonen from Contrasec and today I want to share you how we handle data in different stages of the project like uh, in Move and uh, in REST. What you are seeing in the picture is the basic architecture of the deployment and like I said we'll talk about the Move and the REST part so let's start with the REST part. The, all the databases are not shown in this architectural picture uh, we are running on Kubernetes that has a managed Postgres and a lot of the components they rely on the Postgres timescale for their data storage. There are also other components that have their local storage and it's then up to the component owner to set up the encryption if needed. Basically the Postgres that we are using it's a per service so we don't the project itself doesn't manage it and in this deployment it's not encrypted the time series data is not encrypted in any way that comes from scorpio then basically the other part other part of the data is in transit um, everything is using tsl encryption of course not inside the cluster but in and out of the cluster um, how we deal with data intake mostly is via scorpio context broker and the context broker is being protected by API management and the access control layer uh, that is using also Keycloak as an IDM. Still an additional security layer is this security component that tries to analyze heuristically all the incoming uh, requests and then if it notices something that is malicious it stops them. And then as you can see from the picture the data is available through different components. Apache NiFi is used for integrations basically and then the data is fed into different sources for example uh, mobility toolkit, environmental toolkit and uh, Seekan. Uh, I could demo you Seekan for example. Let's take a look at that. Here is the frontrunner city deployment so city of Kiel Seekan and here we can see that there are data sets uh, coming to the Seekan via the NiFi integration. There is also additional aspect into this. Uh, during the project we developed a data space technology on top of all this stuff. We simply call it Trusted Broker Federation. It combines the NEC Scorpio Broker uh, Federation capability and then IFA Trust data space technology and puts them into one sweet pot. This allows you to share the federated data in a trusted manner while maintaining data sovereignty. Everything developed in the Odala project is open source, so please visit our source control. If you have any questions, you can contact me, ilari.mikkonen and contrasec.fi. And this project has been co-financed by the Connecting Europe facility. Thank you.